Hello there. Hi. So, I have this nasty habit of starting RPGs. And sometimes I don't finish them until like years later. Like, one of the RPGs is um Glory of Heracles on the DS. I started that game back in March of 2014. And I didn't get around to finishing it until like 2018. So the game I'm going to talk about is a game I probably didn't start around until like 2016, maybe 2017. And I didn't get around to finishing it until like a couple days ago. So this game I'm going to talk about, it's kind of a review. It's a review. It's a review, sorry. Uh, I've seen other people, you know, talk about saying it's like the greatest RPG they ever played. Uh, my favorite Let's Player, Chug Conroy, he said it's his favorite RPG of all time. And he played it on the Wii. What I have here is the 3DS version, the new 3DS version, Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh, I get the feeling my camera's a bit reversed there. Oh, well. <coughs> so... Yeah, I guess the reason why I just, you know, have like 100% attention on this game is because, like, I guess I got distracted by other RPGs. But I did, I finally got around to finishing this game because, you know, I have this list of RPGs that I've started and I need to finish. And this is one of those games that I have to get around to finishing. And I just finished it a couple days ago. So before I talk about the things I don't like about the game I should probably start talking about the things I do like about the game so the music is good okay it's there are like some tracks I think is just okay but a great majority of the songs are good uh, as many locations in the game have good music like the Sterile Marsh, the Valak Mountains, McConaughey's Feel, like all these places, all these locations have good music. Like the, just the locations in general have good music. A great majority of the music I don't like are actually the battle music. I don't know why. I guess there's just something about the battle music I just don't like. You know. The story is pretty good. You know, the times I do go back to the game and play you know, the, the game a bit further. I do feel, you know, I am clinging on to the story and the characters are great. Like, the characters are really enjoyable. And I actually like the design of the world. Like, the world's a very interesting concept. You know, the world is just this pretty much greatly ocean. And it seems like the only two continents... Oh, I just got a message. Oh, well, who cares? <coughs> the world's an interesting con concept because, like, you have these two continents. There are just these two titans. One is Bionis, one is Mechonis. Bionis is like this, you know, continent, like this Titan continent where everything on it is like pretty much like it's living orga organism. It's nature filled with trees and such. And then you have Mechonis, which for the most part is mostly, you know, this giant robot and the inhabitants are, you know, machines as well. It's pretty much just. A, you know, just mostly metal. <clears throat> and the fact that, like, pretty much every single part of these two titans can be explored is really interesting. And I remember in Chuck Conroy's um, Let's Play, he's like, if you could see it, you can explore it. And I was like, you know what? Every single part I could see, chances are I can explore it. You know, there are uh, RPGs out there that you have these worlds, but 
most of the time there are some parts you just can't explore. <coughs> and this feels like missed opportunity. Like, why can't I just go there? In Xenoblade Chronicles, you can go there. And, um, I think I'm trying to think of other things. And I guess, what you know, they have these, um, some features, like, where there's, like, these relationship, like, this relationship chart thing about, like, the relationship between two, you know, NPCs as well as the relationship between the party members. And you have these side quests that you could, you know, participate that can change relationships around the people around you. And it makes the world much more lively. You get invested in it more. You throw, you know, you get more attached to the people. I can definitely see why people love, like this game. I can see why people love this game. I can see why people say this is the greatest RPG that they've ever played. But if you ask what I don't like about this game, is that sometimes level grinding in this game is a bit of a chore. Like, there have been times where I, I have a hard time fighting, you know, a certain boss, especially, like, the last boss in the game. I had to level grind so much just so I could be strong enough to fight this final boss. And the thing is, like, you could try fighting, like, the most recent leveled enemies. And gaining experience is just a slow grind. Like, you fight an enemy that's, like, the same levels as you. And your experience just goes up, like, 1%. Like, boop, just that. And you, like, look at the experience thing and it's like, oh boy, it's gonna take me forever just to level grind. And sometimes you have to just go out of your way just to find enemies to level grind just so you can fu get past this particular boss. You know, when like when Chug Conroy played, when he was fighting against that final boss, he'd be at like level 80. I had to be at like at level 86. So that was like quite some level grinding. But it was like, hey, if it just takes me like... How many hours was it? Like, I guess a half a day just to get to there. <coughs> but I think that's part of the reason why. You know, I would sometimes put the game on hold. is because... Um, I guess I'm just not as invested in this game as, like, other RPGs that I've played. Yes, I can understand why people, you know like this RPG. In fact, I noticed in some battles as the um, party members, the AI party members are not as dumb as AI party members in other RPGs. Like, take Dragon Warrior Quest, I was like, Dragon Warrior slash Dragon Quest 4, for example, where in that game you have AI party members, but they're kind of dumb because, hey, I'm going to cast an instant death spell on a boss or on an enemy instead of, you know, using my turn to heal a party member. Like, yeah, that's dumb AI. But I don't see that in Xenoblade Chronicles. Like, at least, does it, you know, the AI party members in Xenoblade Chronicles have some intelligence to them. You know, so it's like I could just focus on fighting the enemy instead of worrying about, you know, health of other party members as much. Because there have been times where I've played RPGs with AI party members that just don't make the right decisions. And I'm like, feel like, man, I feel like I'm doing all the fucking work here. You guys are acting like fucking jackasses and wasting all your MP and such. And oh, my poor baby boy. He was tired. He was sleepy. And all this yelling is waking him up. You know, my poor baby boy. So I guess I should stop it right here. And anyone there watching, hope, you know, 
subscribe. I would like some more subscribers. <coughs> you know, I'm trying to build up this channel, being this RPG, you know, fan. Discussing my opinions on RPGs. I'm trying to build that up. So, you have a nice day. I'm giving you an okay hand, Jester. Have a nice day. Peace out.